Stop it. Get some help. Stop hand welding your ships. There's a much easier way to do things in Space Engineers. This is going to be a basic tutorial on how to use a tug ship and a basic rotor printer to print off your blueprints of your choosing, uh, whether it's a miner, a warship. Um, a station, you name it, it works with everything. And later we'll go over a more advanced hinge printer design um, in the next video. Um, but for today we're just going to start off with a basic base setup that you would set up on any server. Um, so we're just going to place Everything that we need to get started, um, I'll just put down a reactor, refinery, and an assembler. And I'm in creative mode, so obviously this will require you to do your space pod start um, on official servers or any multiplayer servers. We're going to put the speed modules on the assembler and yield modules on the refinery. Give ourselves a spawn point, H2O2 gen throw down some tanks, an oxygen tank and a hydrogen tank, put a connector to dock our ship to, and this is going to be our connection to our printer head, just want to raise it up off the base so it's not hitting me in the head. We'll place our advanced rotor on the top safe zone block down and our zone chip cargo container. Um, I usually do this on official servers. And a large reactor to power the zone. Now ideally you'll be printing inside of a safe zone in case any mishaps happen. So I will simulate that here. We're just going to build our welder head quickly. Um, I use the reinforced conveyors in case I want to remove the welders and put somebody else's welders on it. Um, you can also just transfer the PCU this way uh, because the welder head will be a subgrid and I always place my welders one block apart. Um, some people do two but I've found that sometimes it'll miss blocks so here we're just going to build a frame um, to support our windows windows are to prevent bouncing around off of the welder head or printing unwanted blocks. We're essentially going to cover any placeable area behind and around the welder um, face. So here you'll see me placing two by one sloped windows to prevent any unwanted blocks getting welded up behind the glass wall. placing centered panels between the welders. Um, this way you're less likely to have blocks placed in between the welders while you print. And we're putting a hazard colored platform around it just so you know that it's a danger zone. It also helps you visually line up where you are, um, especially on the big prints. Uh, breaking torque you don't really have to mess with. I turned it up, but you want to set the velocity to one RPM. Um, and I have the rotor locked. As soon as I unlock it, it will start rotating at 1 RPM. It takes about a minute, depending on sim speed, for it to go one revolution, obviously. Um, and that's about how long it takes to weld a layer on a light armor ship. So we'll set up some buttons to turn the, uh, the rotor lock off and also reverse it. do it on a button, you can do it on a control panel or a control seat, pretty much anything that you want. Um, 
or not at all and use a remote control. It's a personal preference really. Um, we usually don't spin the rotor unless you really are moving into a bigger ship that's wider than the rotor head. Um, so leaving the rotor centered on the base is typically what you'll do on an official server unless you're going to build something really large. So next you're going to need a tug ship. This is just a basic hydrogen tug ship. And I fitted it with a small and large grid projector um, so you can print both with it and as well as a mag plate to move things around the zone with. I always toggle the projectors on and off on the hotbar. Um, if you run into any issues, you just turn the projector off and reevaluate. Um, sometimes blocks will get printed when they're not supposed to. Um, here I'm just grouping the gyros and setting up um, the override. We want the, we want the ship to roll and depending on which way your gyros are set you may have to either do it on roll, pitch, or yaw, but we want the ship itself to roll. Um, in this case we'll be setting the yaw to 1.0. Um, this will rotate it at 1 RPM. I like going clockwise, so I put negative one. This allows you to walk away from the ship and it will still rotate. Essentially doing the same thing that spinning the rotor would do, but um, on a smaller scale. So when you can fit the whole width of the ship on the five welders, um, you would want to use the, the override on the ship. Um, anything bigger than that, um, if it's wider than the width of the welder head, then you would want to spin the rotor head and leave the ship stationary um, and pull back. So here we're just lining up the projector. Um, I always select keep projection so that way you don't lose the projection when it's completed. Um, and now I'm just connecting the tug ship to the projection. You can see the connector lit up so that means it's ready to be welded. And now we can start our print. We're going to group the welders using the control panel. Um, we'll just find all of our welders, create a group, and you can add this to the button panel, um, turn them on and off, or just turn it on and off um, with the remote, like I said before, or you can just do it in the control panel. It's personal preference. I always approach the welder head and line up to it with the projection off so that you don't weld up on unwanted blocks early um, and then once you get it lined up nice and square with the welder head um, then you turn on the projection and you'll see here the connector was welded um, and it'll essentially print it layer by layer by drawing the welder back uh, sorry the tug ship back and we're turning on our gyro override and pulling back one layer at a time and waiting until all of the blocks on that layer are printed. Um, the sorter, the two beam blocks are welded up, so we're ready to pull back. And the next row will get the thrusters and so on. So this is essentially um, the method using a tug ship. It's very basic and nice and to the point. Just print it just like a 3D printer would, um, drawing it back one layer at a time stop and take breaks so right here you'll see me welding up the tanks and when you have blocks like this that are three two to three blocks long um, and they finally do print there's going to be a few blocks that might have been missed um, by the by the actual printer head so you do have to get out sometimes and weld up those blocks in this case it was the conveyor caps and we can keep going sometimes you got to get out and get your hands dirty but it's still much better than printing or welding a ship by hand um, and now this is with the rotor on um, I sped things up a little bit just to, to move the print along the 
welders are just doing the drills, so I have to weld up these panels because the welders didn't quite reach them. You're not going to get a perfect print every time. It's also important to leave gyros and other one uh, um, single mounting point blocks facing forward, up, or sideways, or down. Um, never facing the rear of the ship if you've print this way uh, because they will not get printed. So here we just disconnect the ships and rename them both. This will be the H2 Miner. And we'll add it to the safe zone. Make sure it doesn't get ejected when we disconnect it from the connector. Rename the tug ship. And then you can park the tug ship and enjoy your nice new miner. Thank you for watching this uh, short tutorial on tug ships. I'll leave you with uh, little explanation of some of our bases. Um, this is our current base on Alehouse, so at least my base. Tommy has a separate base. But as you can see, the same essential tug method design used on the bottom. Um, just a little bit larger with nine welders. This is a more advanced design. This was our previous station on Alehouse. Uh, this is my hinge printer design. It's semi-automatic. Um, you can set it up to be automatic using a script. I'll get into more of that on the next episode, which I think we'll delve into hinge printers a little more. If you enjoyed the tutorial, I'm going to be making more of these, so like, subscribe, comment, and tell me what you think. Later on, guys.